Hey, how are you like doing, cuddles. guys? I am back today with another video. And today I am doing part three of the Cool City of Tweaks for iOS 9 series. In this series, I'll be showing you guys sometimes um, in each episode some cool iOS 9 City of Tweaks. So let's get started. First of all, the first week I'm going to show you guys today is a paid tweak, but it is called Barrel. And you guys can obviously get this for free if you guys get the city tweak called Sidown. But anyway, um, so yeah, Barrel is very cool. Look, when you go from page to page, it, it has a cool little animation. And that's not the only one. You can go on into your Barrel app, or you can just do this from settings. You can go to a mode and change it around. You could have it normal with no effect you could go random have randomly like curl like page slide up you could go like um that slides up slides slides up it's very cool but the one that i most recommend to you guys is the one i was using that is pac-man look at it it's a very thing cool thing it, it is a little bit buggy like it just like goes straight like that but it's a very cool tweak that you guys should definitely check out and then, so now, another tweak we have is called Shortcuts. And Shortcuts is basically something you would use for another tweak called Forcey. And Forcey is a tweak that gives you iOS 9 um, uh, 3D touch. Like, look at that. 3D touch on any device. That's what Forcey is. And if you guys want to know how you can get Forcey, please go check out my video where I specifically show you guys how you can get Forcey. But Shortcuts is another a tweak. I'm just going to quickly show you guys shortcuts, and it allows you to use 4C slash 3D Touch on a lot of different things. So here's 4C. You guys can just go get 4C for 3D Touch. You have that enabled. You have Swap and Bulk Method enabled, and then the one I'm just trying to show you guys is called Shortcuts. Shortcuts. If you turn it on, there's a configuration and everything. No, I'm not gonna mess with that, but you guys can look at that. So once you have shortcuts, look. The description for shortcuts is add shortcuts to the forgotten apps, which is meaning like Cydia. Um, I could go on ahead and go to Cydia, and then, well, it's not really responding right now because it is a little bit buggy, but yeah, it's very cool shortcut. I can't use it for barrel, but yeah, you could basically use shortcuts for a lot of different things. Like, you could do that, search iBooks. You could even use it for settings. You do to settings, you can do all these things. Safe mode, power off your device, respring it, which restart the spring board, reboot your device, and it even works for Cydia. My thing is not, okay, here it is. So it even works for Cydia. Look at it, you can add a new repo like that. And now, here's the next one that I'm going to show you guys. Just go into settings real quick. The next one I want to show you guys is local AP store. And I know I showed you guys this one um, in an earlier video. And, um, but yeah, but if you guys didn't check that out, I'm just going to tell you guys now. Local AP store allows you guys to get um, hack games. Like not every single game, but a lot of games. You can get their stuff for completely free. I'm not going to go into details right now on how you can do that, but I'm just going to um, tell you guys local AP store is a very cool thing. So, but it does require source. I'm, I'm just going to quickly show you guys the source. By the way, when you're local, using local AP store, what you do is when you buy it, you instead of uh, when you have to put in your Apple ID password, remember this do not type in the password, do not type it in. You just click cancel instead of typing it in. I actually want to be able to show you guys that now, but it's definitely a thing you guys should check out. And the source for that, I'm pretty sure, is this one repo.biteyourapple.net slash. It's either that one or the hack your iPhone one right down here. I'm not very sure. But guys, just make sure to go check out my video where I can where you guys can get confirmation for it. Um the video for local AP store, I'll be teach, um it shows you guys how you can do it. But anyway, I'm pretty sure I have a video like that. And anyway, the next um and final tweak of today is called Speed Intensifier. If you guys don't know what speed and intensifier is, it's a very cool thing that makes your device faster. Now, on older devices, like my iPod 5, I got this in four years ago, in 2012, so it doesn't work that well, but it still works. Speed intensifier can make your thing more fast. 
you can pick these like you can pick one of these um you it even says what should i choose you could um it goes here here speed navigates we run springboard collaborate from simple mode only whole, only whole system speed up and app only speed up apps I preferably use apps because it will speed up your apps a lot. Then you can choose by how much it speeds you up. And I'll keep it on the 5, 6, or 7. 4, 5, 6, 7. Most likely on 5 or 6. Because if you do infinity, you'll try to load up very fast and it doesn't work. But 5 or 6 works just fine. And there's a lot of this stuff you guys can do. You can you guys can change the damping. You can change the stiffness, the mass, and all that cool stuff. So, yeah, I'm just going to quickly show you guys some speed intensifier at work here. Go into YouTube. As I said, it might not work as well because this is an old device, but it's going to try to load itself up pretty fast. Not seeing necessarily this page, but look, it's loading itself pretty fast. If you guys can see there, and it's here, which is actually pretty good for this older device, which is an iPod 5. Anyway, guys, that is it for today, guys. If you like this video, please hit that like button. If you want me to post more of this kind of videos, please hit that big red subscribe button. Hit that thumbs up button. Leave a comment down below on which um, tweak is your favorite. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. And I'll, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. See you.